that I'm not going to be able to work my own hours for this job. Like this job is more set hours and I'm so used to deciding myself when am I going to have a day off. Then this job I feel like was a divine intervention and just kind of came out from nowhere but i do know that i don't want to give up the art business hello my loves and welcome to another studio vlog i'm so excited to be bringing you another one of these i've been recording all of my days in the studio packaging up all your orders so many of you have taken advantage of my sale that's been going on and i've been loving seeing everything that you're ordering etsy also introduced this new thing called gift teasers and i didn't know anything about it until today when I looked at the orders and I saw that some of the orders had it on there and so I looked into it and it's where you buy something as a gift for someone and then you can give them like a little teaser of what they're going to be getting and also it can tell them when that gift is on its way so when it's been shipped so i think it's actually a really nice thing to do so the stuff that i have been working on for the last week week and a half as you know i was reached out to create a plushie and i'm so excited for this i feel uh like i've taken a little bit long to design the plushie but i now have finished the design finished the design and this is what it looks like and I sent this on to the company I was so happy because I've envisioned having this plushie for so long and I've envisioned it as my fairy cat that I did I can't remember when I did this I just know that it was the time that I did the kawaii witch theme for my patrons and the art style then feels way different to my art style now so it must be at least a couple of years ago and because I already had this in my mind that I was going to be doing a fairy cat it was much easier to come up with the design and everything one of the things that I was going to do was draw Momo the, the cherry blossom cat and have her be the plushie but in my heart like I don't know maybe most people would prefer the cherry blossom cherry blossom momo version but in my heart i just knew that the fairy plushie was the one that i was supposed to be doing so i don't know what the process is going to be after this so i don't know am i going to receive a sample plushie are we going to make some tweaks whatever i'm really not sure at this point all i know is that once the plushie does launch that i need to have 200 sales of the plushie for it to go ahead so if you are interested please 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 keep your eye out on my YouTube channel especially because this is where I'm going to be showcasing that kind of thing a lot more and my Instagram stories all my Patreon the patrons get all the information firsthand before YouTube before Instagram speaking of Instagram I posted the other day and I finally feel ready to post more consistently I mean it's been like months and months but I do feel a lot more ready to do it now and almost excited to before I just felt sort of like overwhelmed by it and I have quite a little bit of artwork to post on Instagram so I'm really looking forward to trying to be a bit more consistent I would love to be posting every single day again but I just need to see how it's going to work especially with my new job I don't know how it's gonna really fit in i'm really sort of thinking like how am i gonna get my little orders done but to be honest i'm gonna work out a schedule and everything is gonna be fine so i still have quite a few things to do before i start my new job so i'm starting in a couple of weeks time but i still need to list my old products i also need to edit a couple of vlogs including this one and i need to finish drawing for my august patreon theme i think i'm gonna have some time to do this around my work so that's absolutely fine and yeah i'm just kind of like it's gonna be like a new era for me and something it's like a new path and it's so weird to me because like i just wasn't expecting it at all like any of this change and i'm kind of excited because it just felt really like divine timing and kind of like I wasn't looking for it and it just kind of like came to me and happened so I feel like it's best that I follow this path and see what happens. Already though I am like a little bit um, 
sad about the fact that I'm not going to be able to work my own hours for this job. Like, this job is more set hours, and I'm so used to deciding myself when am I going to have a day off, when am I going to, like, get certain things done. I give myself my own deadlines and schedules, and so I think... I'm going to be a little bit like, oh, I have this window that I have to like do the work in and have to do it and can't sort of decide myself when it's going to happen. But honestly, I feel like it's going to be okay. I feel like it's going to be like the slightest bit of adjustment and then it's all going to work out perfectly well. I've also been planning my next Patreon theme. I'm so excited for this because this is when I'm going to launch my new manifestation cards. And I, I spoke about it on one of the vlogs. I can't remember which one now. Essentially, I want to make these cards that you can stick around your room or your living space that are just going to give you like very gentle reminders that you are on the right path and kind of like uplift you as you go about your day. It's something I've done for myself and it's really helped me. Mine are not as glamorous, mine are just like tad bits of paper with like scribbles on them but the ones that I want to make for the new theme are going to be pink obviously and really pretty and have little moons and probably some hearts on them and this is kind of like what I'm envisioning now. It's going to be part of a Sailor Moon theme. Of course it's Sailor Moon because it's August and for me Sailor Moon is August. August month is my birthday and Sailor Moon just fits in with how I feel and some of my family members say that I am Sailor Moon. I mean, I do have the white and the black cat, so maybe I'm similar to her. <laughs> and I'm so excited to be doing my mirror series again. I did this mirror series a little while ago and I loved it so much. I was just doing drawings of girls taking selfies in mirrors and I want to bring that back with my Sailor Moon theme. And I'm so excited to see how this one turns out. Another thing I want to get back into doing is my little trinkets drawings. I love those so, so much. And I would love to make some new products of some sticker sheets or some new trinkets and some new like um, sticker packs and things. It would be so much fun. Welcome to the voiceover part of this vlog. I recorded the intro quite a little while ago now. I think it was a couple of weeks ago and things have progressed and there's a few things to update you on and everything like that so today the day that I'm editing this vlog is actually the 25th of August and it was my birthday on Friday I had a really really relaxing day and I just did nothing for the whole day because I've been doing my new job and I've been in the kind of training period of it so I've had to go into the office where we work and be there full time. So it hasn't really had left me with like a lot of time to do any work or any artwork kind of stuff. But I did manage to, during my breaks, get some of my artwork done for the patron theme this month. So I finished up the Sailor Moon sticker. I also designed and finished up the Sailor Moon keychain, which is what is going to be the product for the Dream Dust boxes. And I cannot wait to see how they turned out. I decided to get a connector charm keyring. So I did a little cat um, connection. So that one is Artemis. And then I'm thinking I'm going to attach like a bow or something of ribbon onto one of the parts of the charm. And I also chose the pink moon option. So I get these done at Vograce. And I noticed that they have recently updated their styles on their, um, I don't know what to call it, like the connection. Uh, so you can get like moons and different kind of um, designs. I think you can get like a cherry blossom as well. And the moon, I noticed they had lots of different colors now. So I went for pink because that just kind of like fits with the whole theme. And that should hopefully be with me soon. I'm really hoping it's soon because I need to send all of these out for this month's rewards. And I have left it a bit late, obviously, with everything that's been going on. I haven't had as much time. I remember in a previous vlog, I was saying that 
I was gonna do all these things before I started my new job and I think I had like two weeks or so to do it all and because my children have been off uh, school as well I've also been trying to spend a lot of time with them so it just didn't happen some of the stuff like the updating my shop with new listings I didn't get around to doing that but I'm hoping once the training period of this new job settles down that I can spend time doing that sort of thing during like my breaks and my lunch and things like that and maybe after my full day of work I can do my artwork and just to update you on the plushie situation so I did end up sending that mock-up design to the company that's creating the plushie for me and they came back saying that they couldn't do the wings and I was so disappointed because the main aspect of that plushie is her wings like the fact that she's a fairy cat they did come back with some other design options they are all fabric options though so kind of like teddy wings if that makes sense but the way I sort of envisioned the wings was very like um fairy like you know not really like angel like which is what like teddy wings kind of makes me think of like angel wings so now I'm not really sure do I do like a stitching design on her back that's wings or do I choose the teddy wings option and see if they can make it look kind of fairy like I just don't know but I feel very confused about it right now because I feel like my vision's kind of gone out the window and I don't want to just settle for these wings if it doesn't feel right to me like it's not it's not fairy kitty you know it's not it's not how I envisioned her so I might just sit down and have a play around with the different um ideas they've given me and also my idea of the stitching of wings and see if I like any of it or if it gives me the same kind of vibes and if not honestly at this point if it doesn't if it doesn't fit like the vision I might just try and make something completely different and I think that would just make me feel happier not to do my fairy kitty in a different way and rather do something that they can completely um, take on and accommodate. I feel like it has been forever since I've done one of these vlogs and it, that's because it has. I think it's been about three weeks since I've been doing vlogs and that's just where I've been so busy and especially at the weekends because I usually use my Friday or my weekends to do a vlog and then I'll upload it on the Monday and it's not kind of been working out the last few weeks. I'm hoping it will change around but we'll just have to see and I don't know, I just kind of feel like this new job that I'm starting is meant to be, you know, like it just, I feel like there's a reason I'm supposed to be doing it. And I will say that since starting it, I do feel so much more motivated to do my artwork. There was definitely a point in the last, I'm just going to say the beginning of this year, because I actually can't remember when things started turning for me, but there was a point where I just thought okay am I just done with my art business and I'll just pack it in and like I didn't really have any drive or motivation to draw I didn't really have the drive or motivation for any of it and since starting this job I actually have that back again which makes me so happy because it just it reminded me how much I really love artwork and how it's such a huge a huge part of me and I, I don't know, I guess I kind of forgot that when it started to become a little bit difficult with the business, when I started to become like, okay, I'm more focused on profit, like, and focusing on numbers and stuff, and, you know, what revenue is coming in, and that's not really, for me, I don't think that really works in terms of, like, helping my creativity, because I feel like I'm focused on the wrong place when I'm like that, and for me it just helps me to really focus in on what I'm drawing getting better at drawing and the drawing is such a huge aspect of it like the money making side of it is just like a bonus and so where I've had to shift my 
focus to the more money making side of it I think I lost that creativity if that makes sense and I feel like now I feel secure in the money side of my life and I think that's going to help me and is helping me to be more motivated to get back into artwork and actually I actually want to draw now like I'll look at all my old pieces that I've posted and I've done and I just can't believe sometimes that I drew something like that and uh, that I'm capable of that and it just it makes me so happy like seeing my artwork and so I want to make more of it and I want to feel that happiness I don't want to feel that pressure which is what I think then focusing on the income or the revenue side of things it just kind of makes you a bit more pressured and it doesn't really let you just be what I think being an artist is about which is the creativity side of it you just create how you feel and what you feel drawn to and I had so much fun in the community when I was getting involved in Inktober, Mermaid and I was making connections with other artists and we were doing little collaborations and all of that stuff I just that just makes me so happy so I want to get it back and I feel like that's the direction we're heading in I will also say that I think this new job, because I have to be up a little bit early, <laughs> a little bit earlier than I am used to or what I normally like, I get up at 6.30 now for this new job and I start at 8.30. Uh, I feel like having that early wake up and the routine of, oh, I've got to be working by this time has helped my routine I think that's something that obviously when I was feeling low I was kind of like well there's no willpower to keep going with my routine and I feel like as a small business that is something you really need you need the will pay willpower to sit there and be like right this is my schedule this is when I'm working this is the deadlines I'm going to follow and I've I've been good at that in the past and I think just where I lost the motivation it just kind of went but having this routine that's kind of like more solidified I feel like now that helps me with my art business as well because I know I'm going to be working from 8 30 to whatever time and I can work out where I can fit in my own stuff like my own art business get the new work stuff done and I just feel like that structure and that routine will really help with bringing me back into the flow of my business because I do kind of feel like I took a lot of years to kind of build up my very high I don't really know how to describe it but like working so much and having a lot on my plate I don't recommend it and it's not what I'm aspiring to do now but when I first started it was just Etsy and then it was like Instagram as well and then it moved into like things like YouTube and Patreon and I was very good at like juggling all these different parts and I think now where I've been away from it I am not so used to that and obviously as you can see with the late vlogs and I think that you know having that structure is going to bring me back to that but I don't know if I want to be so full on, but I do know that I don't want to give up the art business. So (laughs) I don't know how I'll do it just yet. It feels like there's not enough time in life sometimes. I know there obviously is and, you know, we can always make time. But sometimes I just feel like there's so much I want to do and not enough hours for all of it sometimes. I'm definitely feeling that way in regards to my Patreon theme for this month because I still have a few more art pieces to do. Luckily, I have done the artwork for the kind of like products I need, but I haven't done the rest of the prints or haven't done any of the wallpapers and stuff like that. So I really need to get a move on with that and try and figure out some time when I can do that so that it's not late. And that leads me on to talking about my next theme. And I'm so stuck. I really just don't know what to do for September's theme because I feel like I'm still in summer mode. Like the sun is shining today and it's definitely got 
colder but I I love summer um but I am feeling like a little pull towards the like autumn vibes um today I'm actually planning to go see Coraline because they have put Coraline into the cinemas uh for the 15th anniversary and I'm so excited it's in 3d and I cannot wait to go watch it but I do feel like I'm slowly shifting into autumnness so maybe September would be a good theme for something autumn themed but I just I just don't know what part of me wants to do a witchy theme maybe maybe I don't know like a forest witch but I just don't really know what I'm feeling at the moment (laughs) so if you have any ideas for September please 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 let me know because I am stuck I really just don't know where to go with the next theme and I want to get it drawn up as soon as I can and then get it ordered as soon as I can so that I can try and get myself into more of a routine because I really dislike how late I've been with Patreon and it just doesn't make me feel good because I have all of these really lovely people supporting me and I want to be giving them everything that they are sort of subscribing to on time and with everything that's gone on it hasn't worked out that way and they've been so patient and so nice about it but I just, I need to get that structure for myself as well. And so as soon as I think of this thing, (laughs) I can start drawing it. It's so funny how this new job has motivated me a lot more because I also have been thinking about how much I would love to do a big shop update, like a new one, something that I will design from scratch, like have its own theme and make the products for it all that would be so much fun and (laughs) I just I just love how motivated I'm feeling about it now and it definitely reminds me that this is a massive part of who I am and I can't wait to see how it evolves honestly I'm just kind of like waiting for all the good things that the universe is going to bring me because I feel like everything's been divine timing at the moment when I was feeling really low, it just kind of felt like, well, I don't really know why I'm feeling like this and I don't want to feel like this and I want like motivation and stuff, but obviously I needed it. And then this job, I feel like, was a divine intervention and just kind of came out from nowhere. So I'm really excited to see where all these different things are going to lead me to. I've also been spending a lot of my free time during the last three weeks-ish going on walks. Like, I went to the beach the other day and it was actually so amazing to be at the beach. I'd been wanting to do it for so long, so actually getting to go was amazing. And I'm just trying to, like, reconnect to nature a little bit. There was a time you know in the beginning as I'm sure most of you remember if you've been here a little while that I was very focused on like witchy stuff and I was doing tarot readings I was into all my crystals and things and I just felt really connected to who I was as a person and then now I well you know the beginning of this year I kind of felt like I don't really know what that is anymore but right now how I'm feeling is like I'm slowly getting that back Like, I'm realizing that I never lost who I was. I just kind of, like, drifted away a little bit. And I'm getting back into, like, enjoying those kinds of things and reconnecting with nature. Summer has been amazing this year for me. Just being able to be outside and enjoy the weather and to enjoy the nature and all the butterflies. I just, yeah, I think it's really helped me to have more of a path, I guess, and kind of like reawakened my spirit a little bit like I've been meditating a lot as well which if you have not meditated I would highly recommend it every single time I do it I just feel like so much better I just feel like it was I was meant to do it because 
it just aligns me and just makes me feel like nothing's that deep, you know? Um, and that's kind of like my saying at the moment that nothing's that deep. We're on a floating rock. Like nothing really matters as much as we think it matters. Um, so thinking that way and moving into that kind of like thought process, I guess, is really helping me to feel a little bit happier and calmer and free and also reconnecting me to who I was before a little bit. I know I've said this before, but I really do want to start doing those drawing vlogs where I'll do a drawing and maybe it'll be like a little bit sped up and then I can chat in the background about what I've been up to, what's been happening around my work life. And I'm hoping that I'll find some time to do that during my work day at this other job. Um, because luckily I do get to work from home for most of it. So I feel incredibly lucky to have found a job that is that way. So that it allows me to still focus on my artwork. But I think doing a vlog of drawing will just kind of help me feel... A little bit more motivated draw to draw as well and it gives me enough content as well because that's something that as a small business owner who's like utilizing social media a lot for marketing and things like that uh, it's something that really matters is like being able to repurpose your content among the different platforms and if I can do, you know, the drawing for the vlog, not only is it doing the drawing for the vlog, but I'm getting the drawing done for, say, Patreon. And I'm also getting a drawing done that I can actually post to my Instagram for once. And I could actually probably also use some of the footage to make a reel or a TikTok or maybe even a YouTube shorts. I don't really know. I don't really use YouTube shorts. So, but maybe it's something that I can end up doing. And so... That is something that I think I really need to start doing and I just need to find the time to do it, which is the case with all of these things, all these like great ideas that I have. Like in the beginning of this vlog, I'm sure you saw where I was writing down some product ideas because I just got this like, I don't know really what it was, like this creative urge or creative like surge of ideas and I just wrote all those down and it just I just need to find time to do all I've also been thinking obviously this is a lot of stuff that's been in my head so maybe not all of it will get done because obviously you know me by now I say a lot of things I don't always do a lot of things <laughs> but another thing that I really want to do like I mentioned about Instagram and how I used to do mermaid in October I really want to do some more drawing challenges because I do feel like the art community is lacking a little bit at the moment. I didn't really see a lot for Mermaid and I don't really see a lot of Draw the Soon Stars. Maybe it's because I'm not on Instagram as much as I was before, but I just don't really see it at the moment and I feel like that was one of the most fun things ever that was you know being like there was a part of being an artist on social media was the community was doing all these challenges together collaborating together like I really want to do that stuff again back before I had that little downtime <laughs> in the beginning of this year back before that I was actually thinking of doing something that was like a weekly challenge obviously at the moment I feel like maybe that would be a little bit much for people to do but I think it would be really fun to motivate you maybe like a once a week challenge or once every two weeks or something maybe start it off as once every week and see how it goes but like pick a theme or something maybe match it to a day and then do that every week and then that helps me to not only get consistent with my own artwork and keep my skills going as well because I was learning so much and I feel like I was improving so much and that kind of like came to a halt and I really want to get back into that I really want to improve again and not only that though it will also help to get that community going again which is one of my favorite things 
and I feel like we need it back in the art community. I, I just, maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I just don't feel it as much anymore. But I think something like that would be so much fun. One thing that I just don't know how I ever did it or how I'll get back to it now is my reels. Like I've been thinking about that lately because one of my daughters said to me about helping me and being like a social media manager for me and the only thing I, I was thinking is that like well I don't have any content like it takes a lot to make the content for reels I feel like but I guess if you're doing it every single day and you're able to film what you're doing each day then maybe it's not so much so maybe it is possible to get back to that but at the moment where I'm not actually creating as much or I'm I'm recording vlogs more than I'm doing reels and I'm not doing reels <laughs> at all but the way I record like say stuff around my studio is for vlogs only now and the other stuff that I would do is kind of like you know if it's a drawing or a transition or um like a little skit about artwork and I just don't feel like I've been focused in that area at all but maybe it's something that will happen again I don't know things are just always evolving I'm not sure how it's gonna go I do feel quite disappointed that I didn't work out my tarot deck I don't know if I have time now <laughs> I don't think I have time now to do everything like it's just I don't know but the tarot deck was at the beginning of the year or end of last year was high priority for me and then everything took a turn and it wasn't so much um I'm hoping that I can do it but I also feel like I need to not force it especially with everything that's going on I've listed so many things in this vlog of stuff that I'd want to do or stuff that I'm focusing on and I have to just kind of like work out a priority list I guess and focus on where everything will go and you know maybe some stuff will get pushed back like the tarot deck maybe some stuff will come forward I don't really know one thing I do know though is that I want to keep up with these vlogs because I have so much fun creating them filming them editing them doing this little voiceover thinking of all the things that I've been up to that I can kind of catch you up on and I really have felt connected to you guys with it because I just you guys leave in such nice comments and I'm not always able to reply but trust me I see them all and I really really appreciate them all and it's just making me really happy to do at the moment so maybe I don't know maybe I'll just become a YouTube artist maybe that's where I'll focus on more and I'll do a little mix of Etsy and drawing I'm really just not sure it's so funny isn't it like you have all these goals and all these plans and then they can just change just like that like I was reading before my script from last year on all the stuff that I wanted to do for this year and I was like oh it makes me a little bit sad because I remember feeling really like motivated to do stuff and being so involved in those goals and everything just kind of like shifted but things happen for a reason I firmly believe that so I feel like there is a path for me I just don't really know much about it just yet but I really do miss being active on everything I miss being connected as well because I'm quite an introverted extrovert and where I wasn't really you know on Instagram and things like that I didn't really have that connection whereas before I was messaging you guys and I was posting my story all the time responding to comments all the time it's like building proper connections with you and having that community it was so important to me and I really want to get back to that I really really do miss it and hopefully that's where we'll go hopefully we'll get back to that you know um it does kind of feel like sometimes when you take a break from social media that you're getting left behind a little bit 
but honestly I just felt like it was something that I needed to do like I couldn't really stop it if that makes sense um but I firmly believe that I'll be able to get back into it and to connect with you all again I really do feel like that is possible and I do want to say to anyone who's kind of felt I don't know uh like all of a sudden I've like left and not really had that connection with you anymore I do want to say I am sorry because I do really appreciate each one of you I love you all so much and having that community with you was so important to me it was just almost something that like I couldn't change or I couldn't stop it's something that I just needed to do for myself and I think it's important to follow how you feel at all times <laughs> but we are going to build up that community again I feel it I know it I feel the community here on YouTube as well so massive thank you to everyone who is a massive part of these vlogs and waits for these vlogs to come out and comments and just gets involved because it just really means a lot to me and I appreciate you all so so much and I just want to say that if you have watched the whole of this vlog um seriously pat yourself on the back, back because this has been a long vlog today and I am very grateful for you for watching it and don't forget to leave me a little cloud emoji if you get to the end well done honestly <laughs> and thank you so so much I will very very hopefully see you next week and I hope you have the most amazing week I love you guys bye Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you when the next vlog drops Hopefully in a week, but I will do it as soon as I am able to keep your eyes peeled. Have the best day ever. I love you Mwah.